Hey YouTube, welcome back to The Main Man. My name is Rich, and today we've got a little bit of a different type of unboxing to go through. Uh, fortunately, Pokemon isn't the only game I play, um, and this is kind of, this is what actually got me into the, um, I guess, the gaming uh, market, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> It was a game called Hero Clicks, and just this past week they released a new set. It was WWE themed, um, so we're gonna go ahead and get open, uh, get opening the starter sets. There's two of them, and I picked out a couple special figures. Uh, years ago, I learned don't try to complete your sets with clicks, um, and I'm not a big wrestling fan today, but I was a long time ago growing up as a kid. Uh, today's wrestlers don't really do much for me, but the Macho Man Randy Savage, <laughs> Andre the Giant, Classic Undertaker, Kane, come on, who can say no? So uh, let's get into this unboxing, and we'll take a look at some of the products. Uh, yeah, here we go. So to start out, let's take a look at the individual figures that I picked up. Again, this is just a personal preference. There's a lot more than just these, but we're going to take a look at... There is Kane. We've got Stone Cold Steve Austin. We've got the Macho Man with the flying elbow drop. We've got Undertaker, and classic Undertaker, too. I mean, that's the dead man. And, oh, <laughs> all over the place. There's too many. Andre the Stinkin' Giant. Um, yeah, pretty excited about that. And I'll, take, I'll open those up. We can take a look at some of the cards here in a minute. We also have the Rock and Sock starter set, which has six figures. Uh, we've got The Rock. We've got Mankind, Mick Foley. Another Stone Cold, which is probably a different dial than the individual uh, Stone Cold. We've got Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, back when he used to spit water out of the uh, on the uh, ring apron there. Ric Flair. <laughs> And uh, classic Shawn Michaels doing the most muscular. That's uh, some great figures there. And this is the one that I'm most excited about. This is the Mixed Match Ring Set. And I'm going to get that out here and we'll take a look at that as well. But this is uh, the one that I don't really know any of these guys. Uh, who are the... Who are the who are the wrestlers in here? I'm not really sure. We've got... Uh, they must be so popular, WWE decided not to put their names on the box. So, Oh, there we go. AJ Styles, Finn Balor, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte Flair in the WWE ring. Cool story. Uh, my friend is a huge, huge Superman fan. And a couple years ago, HeroClix did a convention-exclusive uh, boxing ring that had... Superman and Muhammad Ali uh, clicks in it, but it was a ring just like that. It, but it, you know, it had yellow robes. It was just a plain old apron, you know, nothing special. Uh, that clapping sound you hear is my daughter <laughs> running on out of here. She um, wanted to be in the video, but doesn't know much about wrestlers, so she took a pass on this one. Um, but yeah, I got him. I picked it up on eBay because <laughs> that's the best uh, place for deals, and. Did a huge favor for him getting that. He loved it. And I've been wanting my own ring ever since. Well, when I found out these were coming, uh, I couldn't pass it up. Years ago, I played in one of the, I think the first year ROC did tournaments regionally. Uh, one of my local game shops held an ROC tournament. And I entered into it. I came in like fourth place. Uh, and I won the neoprene Hero Clicks map that had the ring on it with like a bunch of seats and stuff. I mean, it wasn't a 3D or anything. It was just you know the neoprene play mat, but it was decked out as a as a like a wrestling event. It had the chairs as hindering terrain. It had the ring was elevated terrain. It was pretty awesome, and I never thought I'd have a ring to go on it. So uh, let me get that set up, and we'll take a look at these dials and see what we got here. There is that ROC Realms Open Championship. That was for, I believe it was a regional qualifier. Um, like I said, I won that, came in fourth place. And my team got hosed, to be honest with you. I uh, wasn't really fully prepared for it. But um, let me go ahead and get these figures set up here. 
and we'll use that as the backdrop for this awesome, awesome wrestling ring. And uh, take a look at some of the, uh, it's got objects in there and everything, so I'm pretty excited about this, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So they, they took it down a whole square from the uh, map, but that's okay. Because it doesn't really matter. It fits in there. It looks nice. We can work with five. So there is there's the ring set up. Um, like in most starter sets, it comes with a couple dice. It even has its own map here. I wonder if it's similar to the one I'm playing on. Like I said, this is a neoprene one. Um, I think they give those away now at a lot of the uh, tournaments. Uh, but again, like this, as far as I remember, this was like the first uh, ROC like sweet prize, you know. So, and I think it's 2014 on there, so it's a while ago. Yeah, 2014. Uh, I've been out of the Hero Click scene for a while. I used to play quite a bit, and then it just, well, like kind of lost interest because of rules changes and that sort of stuff. Um, for lack of a better term, clicks, are, clicks players are nothing if not passionate about uh, the rules of the game and so forth and so on. Um, and I was one of those, actually. Uh, but again, it got to be too much of a headache in the long run, so... I cut the, cut the cord, so to speak. It's a pretty, pretty sweet map. I don't know if you can see that here. It's kind of hard for me to see it too, but um, I'll take a look. It looks like that's what's uh, made to go on this here. The other side looks like it's, um, I don't know, backstage or something. Car, parking garage, parking lot, backstage. Uh, pretty cool. It's actually a lot more heavy duty than the maps I remember. This is the card for the ring. Imagine there's uh, special abilities or something that it grants. Haven't really taken a good look at it yet. Placement rules, special terrain must be placed three squares away from any starting area. Okay. You guys can take a look at that if you want to. Um, we've got AJ Styles. We've got Charlotte Flair. We've got Sasha Banks. We've got Finn Balor. And I have the only one I've ever heard of is Charlotte Flair, only because, well, her dad's in the other starter set. <laughs> so like with anything, it's always good to have a new uh, updated rule book. And this is the core rule book for, I'm guessing since it's a single universe, it's probably specifically for these WWE clicks, which uh, will be fun to play. I'll have my friend down this weekend and hopefully we can get a good match in. Um, I did read something about jumping off a turn. Oh, there's a new power here. Flying Leap. There it is. It's that second one there. Flying Leap power. So that'll be pretty interesting to find out, you know, what that is. Slingshot is knockback, I guess. Okay. Lightning speed. I'm assuming that's hypersonic. All right, it looks like they've actually taken it down quite a bit from what... Uh, there's clearly not as many attack powers as there used to be. And I imagine, like I said, this is specifically geared towards the wrestling uh, wrestlers and the wrestling moves, which is actually pretty awesome. I'll be uh, excited to take a look at that. Uh, again, every other starter set comes with some uh, objects, and they're falling out already. So let's take a look at what we've got here for the... Uh, for the wrestling objects, we've got, uh, well, tables, ladders, and chairs, <laughs> of course. We've got the uh, the steps, the ring steps, a briefcase, well, uh, probably the money in the bank there, huh? And uh, a dented trash can already. Man, that looks like it's going to be uh, pretty fun. Oh, and look, we always need some hindering terrain, especially for our wrestling rings. So there's some water and some rubble, yeah. Again, those come with, with all the starter sets and your two obligatory dice. Um, so there is the ring. <laughs> and here's a guy jumping off of it. There we go. Check it out. <laughs> He's going to dive off the turnbuckle there. And I get right into it. And this guy is 
just posing. But, you know, enough of these posers. I don't even like these guys. Let's take a look at some of the uh, the real wrestlers. Um, this, to be honest, I'm an old school fan. Uh, I was really, really excited when I found out that the Macho Man Randy Savage was going to be in this set. Um, this is pretty much the reason I decided to go ahead and uh, get into this. You know, it, as as well as making content, obviously, I, I do want to have some uh, content. And I do want to get away... Well, I don't want to just make Pokemon videos, I guess I should say. But, uh, again, this is uh, something from old school me that uh, just needs to, needs to uh, come out. <laughs> Let's take a look at that sculpt. Um, big Hero Clicks, they've had their ups and downs. Um, but since... Actually, the first one that came in the mail for me was Stone Cold Steve Austin. And uh, I was taking a real close look at it. And he is just incredibly detailed. And I'll take, a, I'll take him out here in a minute, too, so you can take a look. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with Hero Clicks, I mean, hopefully, you know, uh, if you guys are watching this video, you have some interest in it. Or have at least, you know, had some experience, know what it's about. This is the Clicks dial. Uh, and I can't seem to get focused in on it. But these are your power, this is your stat slots. You've got your attack uh, number, or your speed number, I should say, is a 9. He's got an attack of an 11 and a defense of an 18. And uh, the 3 is the damage uh, number. And we'll take a look at those special powers here in a minute. I wonder what that uh, damage does. One of the greatest talkers in WWE history. Anybody disagree with that? The Macho Man? <laughs> There's a great... Uh, promo with him check it out on youtube macho man cream of the crop it's probably the funniest best best promo cut uh short of the rock uh telling billy gunn asking him what is it doesn't matter what his name is but uh the macho man's one of the greats uh yeah let's take a look at that stone cold uh sculpt too this again this is from the um the individual he's also in the rock and sock starter as well but uh We'll see if the sculpts match up or not. We'll see if they're any better in the starter set than they are uh, individually or, or vice versa. There's that Stone Cold card. And, uh, this is kind of new, so it's been a while since I've actually played clicks, but these are the um, stats on the back of the card. They've been doing this for a couple of years, and now I just uh, recently came across a thread where they were talking about making all dial info public it used to be hidden info so if you ever uh you know clicked your dial forward or backwards too much you would uh kind of technically not supposed to know that info get in trouble for cheating you know get disqualified but uh that's stone cold this is an incredible sculpt i mean again if you have any any um experience with hero clicks you'll know that uh these guys can be really hit or miss with their sculpts his um who was it? Was it a Superman that had, like, his eyes were down too low? I forget which one it was, but um, putting the decals on here, the, the paint, it's really hit or miss. And these guys look fantastic. Um, they always look good in the digital images that they promote with them, but uh, getting them in hand is something else entirely. So let's put him over here. Take a little stone cold over there. Stick Macho Man right off this, uh, like he's flying off the uh, the corner there. Uh, another figure I'm really excited about is Kane. Uh, again, I'm only grabbing some of my favorite characters. Oh, sorry, they're not characters, they're wrestlers. <laughs> my son called, I took him to an event one time and I told him how my grandfather called them wrestlers because he was an old school guy. So uh, <laughs> my son Robbie called, refers to them as wrestlers. Um, there's Kane, the big red machine. He looks pretty good, and I can't seem to get him focused. So uh, let's. There we go. There we go. He's got the flame shooting out of the turn uh, post there. Uh, <laughs> he looks pretty good from where I'm standing. And this is sort of you know one of the little more minor complaints that Hero Clicks. They you know they can never make him perfect, but you can see that post is bent. Oh, that's just from packaging being in there, and that's how it is. But still, he looks he looks pretty pretty great, uh, considering 
um, my past experience with Hero Clicks. These guys are looking really, really nice. A lot of great detail into these ones. Um, and of course, the Big Red Machine's brother, the Dead Man, uh, classic Undertaker. <clears throat> this is a uh, man. He looks he looks pretty good. Um, I actually uh, saw him in person. One of my first jobs was at an adult entertainment club, uh, gentlemen's club, <laughs> right out of high school. And one night these guys were in there, and the Undertaker. We had these like double doors, these glass doors, seven feet tall, uh, real high, high entryway. And he actually, when I saw him come in, I saw this guy ducking underneath it, and I was like, "What is going on?" And it was the, and I, it was the Undertaker. I couldn't believe it. Uh, he and a few other uh, superstars, I guess, at the time, came into the uh, the club and hung out for a few drinks. I was too, uh, I was like 18 years old, too shy to ask for an autograph because these guys are out. Probably had an event in town, unwinding, chilling out, and uh, we learned early not to, you know, ask for autographs here because, yeah, it was one of those things. But largest human being I've ever seen up close and personal. This guy, uh, he is. Amazing, very intimidating, and that is a great, great sculpt on that. I mean, it's kind of easy not to mess up black on black, but he looks great. Uh, the hat is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, one, another one of the great legends of the ring. <clears throat> and then, of course, we've got <laughs> the eighth wonder of the world. Was he billed as the 8th Wonder of the World, or am I confusing him with the Big Show? I'm pretty sure Andre was the original 8th Wonder of the World. This man. Uh, my One of my close friends, uh, we went down to WrestleMania 30, I think it was. It was back in 2013. I think my son was just born and it was that he was born in 2012 and it was like the following Wrestlemania of 2013 we went down to it was in um, New York New Jersey I guess and they had a life size statue of Andre the Giant I took a picture in front of it and I'll take a look at it over there uh, that's me standing next to a life size statue of Andre again uh, <laughs> six so years ago uh Again, never met him in person. I was standing in front of the statue. <laughs> but uh, still, pretty large fellow. Another one of the greats there. Um, and let's take a look at this other starter, this Rock and Sock Connection. This was the height of, I'd say, the WWE Attitude Era. Was when The Rock was with the Nation of Domination and like just splitting up. Triple H in China were D-Generation X. Uh, Shawn Michael was out of there when I started watching. It was pretty much Billy Gunn, um, the Road Dog, Jesse James, China, and Triple H. Uh, I, I think Shawn Michaels might have been retired. But again, Rock had just left the Nation of Domination. Uh, Triple H was... was uh, he wasn't really on his own yet, but he was getting there. He was like, all right... Starting to become world champion, looking for. I think he was Intercontinental Champion at the time, and he's, then he started having his feud with The Rock. Uh, Mankind got into the action there. Uh, I remember watching him get knocked off. A, I think it was a Hell in a Cell match, and that was when his tooth came out through his nose when he hit the hit the hit the table. I think Undertaker actually threw Mankind off the top of the cell. Um, again, classic uh, wrestling. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. There's Mankind. That's the starter set Mankind. Uh, again, really good detail on the mask. He's got Sock. Uh, was it was it Socko? Was that his name? Mr. Socko? <laughs> uh, he's got the Sock. There's the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. To be the best, you got to beat the best. Uh, great tagline. Great, great wrestler. I mean, wow, and even still, I mean, wow, look at that. D I mean, that, again, I don't know what's going on with the quality department at uh, WizKids, but these are, these sculpts, these, uh, the paint on these, it's fantastic. I mean, it's probably the best I've seen as far as Hero Clicks goes. I mean, to read that, 
I, I wouldn't. It should just be a blobby blur. But uh, they really, really stepped up the quality on these. That's when uh, Triple H used to spit that out of the uh, water bottle on the ring apron. If you were a fan of Monday Night Raw, you'd see that. There he is. China would be uh, in the ring already or down there below on the apron. Michaels wasn't really there at that time. Uh, but there he is now, the heartbreak kid. He was actually uh, out that night as well with The Undertaker at the, uh, at the club I worked at. That would have been about 1995, 1996 maybe. Uh, it was towards the end of the, my time there. And there he is, Rocky Mayavia, The Rock. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? You almost can. I mean, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Uh, he got, he's got the Brahma Bull there on his, on his butt there. Again, trying to zoom in on it, but I, I can't quite get the focus right, so it's hard to tell. But again, I mean, you can see it. He's got the arm tattoo. So still pretty good. I mean, really good with the detail on these. I, I am uh, pretty pretty surprised and impressed with these. Um, this Stone Cold Steve Austin, again, looking pretty good. This is the uh, starter set one. So again, looking uh, pretty good with the detail. You know, you can actually read his jacket there. He's got the smoking skull uh, on the back there. And, uh, yeah. So there you have it, guys. Uh, just just a quick look at what's going on with the uh, this set. Again, I, I, there's so much to go into with Hero Clicks. So this is my first unboxing video dealing with clicks. It'll probably be one of my only few too. I mean, unless they come out with like a Hulk Hogan or something. But um, we'll be back to Pokemon soon. But again, I had to take some time out and, and do a quick video on this because, I mean, it's just. It's cultural, it's significant, and uh, I mean, how I've been out of clicks for about two or three years now. I really haven't played in any tournaments or, or anything of the, of the sort as far as clicks goes. Um, but to see this, I, I mean, I really couldn't, could not pass this up, and um, I really want to share that with you guys. I know there have been other videos about them, they probably went into a lot more detail um, as far as as far as you know what the dials do and the powers but if you're a fan of gaming if you're a fan of miniatures especially uh take a look at it. i mean this is really as far as entry level goes i mean this is something you could just buy just these and play and have a lot of fun um again like i said it, it does come with uh, a map on its own you don't really need this neoprene but i've had this thing for what, 2006 years now five years so it's uh kind of cool i've been Looking for a reason to bust it out, and here it is. But uh, it does come with its own map. you got your little dice, and all the stuff you'll need to play come with it. Um, the starter sets have the rule books. It has the powers and abilities cards in their, in their own individual cards. Um, these are the player cards to let you know what those powers do, um, especially if they have like, special abilities, uh, trade abilities, and uh, special powers like this. Um, but, yeah. Uh, if you're a fan of wrestling, if you're a fan of miniature games, this is uh, <laughs> this is where it's at. So uh, let me know who your favorite wrestler is. Uh, if they come out with the Road Warriors, uh, I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, gotta get them, right? Um, let me know who you like, who you don't like. I mean, are you a fan of Ric Flair? Do you hate the guy? The guy is hilarious. Check out Bill Burr's uh, video talking about Ric Flair's 30 and 30. Uh Again, more classic stuff. The guy's a legend. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that bell for notifications. And uh, let me know in the comments, seriously, because I don't get a whole lot of comments. I know there's only 20 of you guys that are subbed to me. But uh, let's start a conversation, man. Let's, let's get this thing going. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.